we uh, today uh, announced major developments against the Sinaloa cartel, one of the most nefarious and violent cartels in history, and one that has pumped huge quantities of cocaine, heroin, and methamphetamine into our streets and communities in Chicago. Today's sentencing, coupled with uh, the unsealing of charges that I'll describe in a moment, reflect a significant impact on Sinaloa, not only here in Chicago, but nationally and even globally. And the pantheon of drug prosecutions in the history of the Northern District of Illinois, this case stands at the highest level. The Honorable Chief Judge of our district, Ruben uh, Castillo, sentenced Margarito and Pedro Flores this morning. The Flores brothers are twins and for years ran what uh, is the largest drug distribution uh, network in the history of the city of Chicago. They were the Chicago hub of the Sinaloa cartel and they pumped literally tons of kilograms of cocaine into our city as well as distributing cocaine to various other cities across the country, places like Columbus uh, and Cincinnati and Philadelphia and Washington, D.C. 2008, at the height of their criminal conduct in a striking, historic turnaround of events, they began to covertly cooperate with DEA and federal prosecutors here in the city of Chicago. Uh, that cooperation, because of its timeliness, um, included things like covertly recording conversations, including two conversations with Chapo Guzman, then the leader of the Sinaloa cartel. The Flores brothers' cooperation allowed law enforcement to seize substantial quantities of uh, drugs, substantial sums of cash, and help lead to charges against Chapo Guzman and other senior members of the Sinaloa cartel in sentencing the Flores brothers this morning, Judge Castillo uh, very carefully weighed on the one hand the scope and nature of their criminal conduct and the amount, the sheer amount of narcotics that they trafficked, which he called horrific and devastating, on the one hand against, on the other, the truly historic uh, and significant nature of their cooperation, both because of the timeliness of it, which allowed it to be so impactful, and also because of the permanent um, and significant personal risk that is incumbent with that kind of cooperation. And Judge Castillo, after weighing those considerations, determined uh, a sentence of 14 years imprisonment and ordered restitution of $3.6 million for uh, the Flores brothers. Eight, we've seen 62 defendants charged in connection with this criminal activity seized, this is not alleged, but seized um, narcotics in, in connection with this investigation. 11 tons of cocaine, 265 kilograms of methamphetamine, 78 kilograms of heroin, and over $30 million in cash seized as part of this Chicago-based investigation of the Sinaloa cartel. We all know that it's common knowledge that most of the public violence in Chicago um, is perpetrated by street gang members and we also know that the lifeblood of street gang members is the narcotics trade. And the only way we're ever going to get in front of this is by hitting this type of activity at all levels, from the very top level to the street level. And as we've, you've heard us say before in press conferences that we investigate from the street corner to the cartel. Well, this case shows it. It's a scourge on our uh, society. You know that. We know that. Not only is violence a byproduct of that, but how many lives have to be destroyed over the course of time. Kids, fathers, uh, brothers, mothers um, dead because of drugs or, um, you know, devastated because of addiction. And so everything that we can do to address this problem at the roots, which in this case includes the Sinaloa cartel, is worth our time and worth our resources. This is a case where the sentencing guidelines, um, because of the shocking amount of narcotics that these gentlemen trafficked, called for life, period, hard stop, life. And it's a case where Judge Castillo this morning said to these defendants, I would have given you life. You can try to right some of what you have done wrong by providing valuable assistance 
to the government. You can help yourself by helping the government. The judge made this point um, very clearly this morning, is that effectively, and this is, this is how Judge Castillo put it, they have received a life sentence. Because as the judge said, there is never a day in their lives where they won't have to look over their shoulder. The judge said in court this morning, there's never a car time that they'll turn the ignition switch on a car and not wonder to themselves, is it going to start or is it going to blow up? That's its own form of life sentence, and that's a part of the extraordinary nature of this case. Generally speaking, if there are opportunities for the government to um, allow defendants to cooperate and help us uh, solve more crimes and prosecute more culpable defendants, our door is open to doing that, generally speaking.